They're starting a dueling club and the first meeting is today. That could be interesting. Come to the Great Hall if you want to learn how to duel. everyone see me? Can you all hear me? Excellent. I started Dueling Club to train you to defend yourselves. Dueling Club meets every day in the antechamber just outside the Great Hall. In Wizard Dueling, the object of the exercise is to incapacitate your opponent. There are three spells you may use in Dueling. Rictus Sempra which knocks your opponent back and reduces stamina. Mimble Wimble, which prevents your opponent from accurately casting their next spell. Expelliarmus, which reflects spells back onto your opponent. To select a spell, scroll through them by using the space bar or the right mouse button. To cast a selected spell on your opponent, press the left mouse button. You may build up the strength of Rictus Sempra and Mimble Wimble by holding the left mouse button down. Note that potion drinking and jumping during duels are prohibited. A pledge of Bertie Bot's every flavoured beans is required to duel. The victor wins the opponent's beans. To challenge a student to a duel, simply walk up to them. If you have enough beans, you will be invited to duel. My assistant, Professor Snape... I am your colleague, not your assistant. ...has informed me that he knows a tiny bit about dueling and has graciously agreed to monitor the duels. And now for a brief demonstration, Mr. Potter, if you'd like to partner up with Mr. Weasley... I don't think so. Time to split up the dream team, I think. Mr. Malfoy... Come over here. Let's see what you can make of the famous Potter. Thrashing, you will be a treat, Potter. Very well then. One's at the ready. When I count to three. Scared, Potter. You wish. One, two, three. Today, Potter, you will have the pleasure oh. of dueling the great Slytherin house. Rick to Sempra! Mimble Wimble! Mimble Wimble! Rick to Sempra! Rick to Sempra! Rick to Sempra! Rick to Sempra! Get to you. Strike him back. Rick to Slytherin takes an undeserved hit. Slytherin. Rick to Sempra. 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 Mimble Wimble. Mimble Wimble. Get to you. Strike him back. Mimble Wimble. 
Slytherin takes an undeserved hit. Snuck that one in, didn't you, Potter? Mimblewimble! Rick to Sempra! 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 Don't let Potter get to you. Strike him back. Rick to Sempra! Slytherin takes an undeserved hit. Rick to Sempra! 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 And Slytherin makes a very well timed hit. Rick to Sempra! Oh. Rick to Sempra! 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 Sortia! Leave me alone! What was that? Did Harry just hiss? Oh my! That couldn't have been. It couldn't be. Not him. You're a parcel mouth, Harry. You can talk to snakes. Why does it matter? It matters, Harry, because being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for. Oh, no. Exactly. Now the whole school's going to think you're his great, 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 great grandson or something. But I'm not. Anyway, we'll see you later, Harry. Bye, Harry. Harry lay awake for hours that night wondering, could he be a descendant of Salazar Slytherin? <laughs> <laughs>